Well, hello, hello. Let me introduce you to Carla. Carla, unfortunately, has a couple mistakes going on with her hair right now. And, well, they're robbing some of that youthful appearance from her. So today, I'm going to walk you through exactly what these mistakes are. And more importantly, how she can address them so that you, hopefully, can take away some insight and maybe address these mistakes if you're having any of these concerns. And today, uh, I brought you out here to show you some amazing views. <laughs> it's so far out in the middle of nowhere. And there's just fog. Yep, that's it. Fog. Okay. Well, with that said, let's get on to the mistakes. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to the channel, you might be wondering, who is this guy and why is he in the middle of the woods talking to me about hair? And I would say that is a fair question as always. <laughs> First of all, if you're new, welcome. Uh, my name is Justin Hickox. I've been doing hair since 1995, which I just thought about this morning. You realize that's almost 28 years? I swear I've been saying 20 years for the past 20 years. <laughs> but nonetheless, yes, so I like to take you out in the middle of nowhere and show you views while I teach about hair. Um, mainly because ring lights and white walls and salons bore me. I'd much rather show you an incredible view like this one. <laughs> A bunch of fog. But okay, so now that you know where we're at and what I'm doing, uh, let's talk about some mistakes. See, I told you there's some pretty views up here. Of course, you can barely see it right now, but trust me, it's there. <laughs> okay, so let's dive into the mistakes. But before we dive into the mistakes, I also want to just kind of share part of the email that Carla sent because this is going to play a pretty large role in the actual mistakes and suggestions. So, Carla sent this email. It says, good afternoon, Mr. Hickox. <laughs> now, now Carla, that's the first mistake. You never have to call me Mr. Ever. No one ever does. I am not that cool. <laughs> but nonetheless, I do appreciate it. Thank you. She says, I am hoping you can help me find a hairstyle that suits me. It seems every time I go to the salon, I always come out with the same haircut. I could really use some advice and guidance. And FYI, I'll be turning 46 the day before Thanksgiving. I think my hair ages me the way it is now. Well, first of all, uh, late, happy birthday. I hope you had a fantastic one. And keep in mind, I want you to remember that first statement. Every time I go to the salon, I feel like I get the same thing. Now, we're gonna talk about that and I'm gonna explain exactly why that happens in case you've ever experienced it. Now you're gonna know why. But now, before we dive into the mistakes, I want you to just take a quick look at this photo and I want you to think about what attribute of Carla stands out the most. What grabs your attention immediately when you look at this photo? Now for me, it's her eyes. She has beautiful eyes and the first thing that I saw when I looked at this was her eyes. So I want you to keep that in the back of your mind because we're definitely going to be talking more about that here when I go through the suggestions. But let's dive into the mistakes. Now the first mistake that's happening right now with Carla's hair is that it's actually too long. Now let me just back this up. I am not a hairstylist that thinks that everybody needs to cut their hair short. I am definitely not telling you that you should not have long hair or that just because you have long hair, you inherently need to cut length off. When you go to a salon and your hair is really long or longer like Carla's, you have to recognize that layering is dictated by the length. What that means is we can't cut really, really, really short layers and have hair this long. It doesn't balance, it's not gonna look good, and ultimately, you're not gonna like it. Nine out of 10 times when there's a mistake made with layering hair, it's either that the layers are too short for the length or that it's too layered and it ends up looking very thin. So while we're not just dictated in longer hair by the length of the shortest layers, we're also dictated by how much layering we can do because the longer the hair gets, longer from the hairline, the less it can support a lot of layering and it'll have a tendency, even thick hair, to start looking thin at the ends. Carla, if you wanna see something different than your hair right now, the mistake is that it's just a little too long to really open up the options so that something different can be done. Mistake number two is that there's just not enough layering right now in the front. So here's the great thing. The one thing that length doesn't determine is layering in the front. You can have bangs and long hair and layers in the front. So we have a lot of option with what we can do there. Back to the first thing I said, the very first thing that I saw about Carla's photo was her eyes. So to me, softness around the face or a bang, that's going to frame the eye, it's gonna draw more attention to it, and ultimately it's going to make that amazing attribute stand out even more. 
And mistake number three kind of piggybacks off that, but it's also kind of a result, like we talked about earlier, of mistake number one, which is there's not enough layering and movement internally, meaning in the back. It just doesn't give enough volume in the right areas and take enough volume away from the other areas. The fullness on the bottom, because of that more of a one length look, is creating much more of that triangular shape. When you look at her hair, your eye is going to travel straight down her hair. It's not traveling up and it's not really accentuating anything about her face per se. Let's move on to my suggestions so I can show you why I think these mistakes are mistakes and more importantly, what they would look like if we modified them a little bit. All right, let's do that. But let's also change backgrounds and I'm freezing. Just throwing that in there. Oh, and before we move on, uh, I wanna share something really exciting with you. And first I wanna say thank you. I have been loving the comment section on these most recent videos. I love the support that not you're just giving me, but the support you're giving to whoever is the topic of this particular episode that we're on in the series. I want this channel and more importantly, this community and to be founded in building each other up and making everybody involved in this as confident as they possibly can be. So I very much appreciate all the support you guys are spreading. And because of that, it sparked an idea. The number one thing that I get emailed about is people asking for one-on-one -on -one video consultations. And while that was a service that I offered for a while, it just became overwhelming with the amount of demand and my lack of time to really dive into it. So unfortunately, I had to just step away and say that I can no longer offer that. But what I wanna do is I do want to offer that now. And so who do I offer that consultation to? Well, maybe you. Here's how you're gonna enter. What I want you to do is that I want you to go below into the comment section and I want you to comment something that you find beautiful about Carla. What drew your attention in when you saw her photo, right? I want you to spread some positivity in Carla's direction. I want you to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down into the comments and I'm going to randomly pick one of those comments. And then I'm going to reach out to that person and that person, maybe you, is going to get a 30 minute video consultation where you and I can sit down and talk about your hair, answer any questions that you might have, and ultimately, hopefully, help you move in the right direction if you're having any concerns. So if you want to be a part of that, it's really simple. Go spread some love. Sound good? Okay. Now that view does not suck. Wow. Beautiful, right? Okay, anyway, so let's dive into suggestions. So the first suggestion that I wanna talk about is actually the first thing that I noticed about Carla, which again, was her eyes. So let's talk about framing those eyes. And just so you know, one of the fastest, most effective ways to really frame the eyes is to literally frame them with bangs. <laughs> so this is what it would look like if we added bangs to Carla's current look. I think it looks amazing. You can immediately see that it draws just more emphasis to her eyes. Now you might also notice that it's drawing more emphasis to her cheek structure. And that's not necessarily just because they're bangs. That is actually because if you look at the sides of the bangs, they actually slope down a little bit. It's bangs that are connected into some layering in the front. Now, the next suggestion I wanna talk about is the length. I mentioned before that the length is a little bit too long and that's really predicated more on the fact that Carla feels like she's constantly getting the same haircut and why that length is actually lending to that concern. Now with that said, when you look at this before picture, it kind of pulls your attention away from her face. So for me, bringing that length up a little bit would do a lot to start refocusing the attention where in my opinion it should be which is on her face. So let's just bring that length up a little bit, keep the bangs, and let's see what that would look like. To me, it brings much more attention back to her face. It doesn't have quite the tendency to draw that eye down quite as much. I don't know, do you agree? I definitely see more emphasis on her face, but maybe it's just me, so let me know. But I always bring in curveballs, and I definitely wanna do that here. So the last suggestion I wanna kind of incorporate a big curveball. So this is actually kind of a curveball look that I think she could definitely move into and I think it would look fantastic on her. So yes, all of this is going to happen all at once. <laughs> the last suggestion that we talked about was the layering internally. And I said that once you bring that length up, it allows a lot more opportunity to create a better shape. 
And so I want to show you what it would look like if we actually alleviate some of the bulk and create a different shape within this length. I talk a lot about color in these particular videos, and it's not because I think that every person needs to do color. So Carla, looking at your hair, it looks maybe like you're growing your hair out, but I want to show you something a little bit different. So what I wanted to do with Carla's hair is actually change the tone completely, move from the kind of burgundy red to more into a brown with some low lights and some highlights to really add some dimension, but also add a little bit of contrast. If we added in the bangs, brought that length up, added the layering in the back to pull some of the shape out of that triangular look and change the overall color into a little bit more of a brown but yet still warm tone, this is what all of that would look like. As you can see, taking that triangular shape out is great for adding a little bit more lift and bringing your eye up a little bit more. It creates a little bit more of the illusion of volume up towards the temples. The bangs help to frame her eyes. The bangs sloping down on the side, like we talked about before, help to create a little bit more emphasis to the cheek structure. But more importantly, all the dimension and the color also helps to make her eyes pop. I think all said and done, yes. Just yes. So, as always, the big question is more importantly, what you think. Do you think she should do bangs? Do you think she should bring her length up? Or do you think she should do all of it, color and everything? Carla, I'm actually very curious to see what you say about this. So let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, right now, head down there, comment, share some love, and get yourself entered to win a 30-minute consultation one-on-one -on -one so that we can chat about your hair. And I am going to enjoy that. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Mm-hmm.